What's up guys? My name is Fighting Soldier, aka William Polly, and I'm here to give you another tutorial. Only this time it isn't about gameplay or doing well in a game such as Black Ops. It is actually for modding. Now I have uploaded one modding video, I just did that because I was bored. But um basically I'm already starting up here, so pay attention. The things that you're going to want to input are exactly what as I have them 1920 by 1080 and you're going to want to search in whatever you want your background to be in case I haven't mentioned it this is to create your own theme so let's get started uh, I'm just going to pick four pictures that I think are really cool in case you didn't know I'm a big fan of Dead Space now because I have played through the entire thing and hoping to get Dead Space 2 sometime soon um but anyways uh if you haven't already organized a modding folder, because obviously if you're watching this, you're either a first-time modder, or you've been doing it for probably a very long time. Anyways, I have my entire folder system organized, and for each one I create a new one under the project folder. And I'm just going to save four different pictures that have to be 1920 by 1080 p and the reason I choose this is because that's the definition of the highest quality TV on the market today. Now, um, like I said, you're going to want to make sure that the links are good, you're going to want to make sure that everything works out, and that you can just go ahead and save everything in the same folder. And I would definitely recommend using Firefox for this because it gives you a lot more custom customizing options as far as where you can put it. And again, just choosing a bunch of really cool photos. Not necessarily because you guys would like them, just because I want to, to make a nice Dead Space theme. Uh, anyways, that's a weird anime picture, but anyways, uh. Alright, finally found another one with a weird brute in the background. Um, also, another a reason why you're going to want to have four pictures is because when you actually go to set it up. It's going to ask you for four. One's going to be for your game library, one's going to be for your multimedia library, one's going to be for your regular background, and one is going to be for your system folders. And again, putting them all four pictures into the background. Now, once you have that, you can go ahead and close out Firefox or Internet Explorer if you don't have Firefox. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up this program called Modio. Now there is a little bit newer version of it than what I use. You'll see that I have two ver different versions. I just use this one because it's the one that everybody's used to. Now it does take a very long time, so I just paused it and waited for it to pop up. Uh, once you're opening up Modio, you're going to not go what I'm going to. You're going to want to go to Other Tools and click on Theme Creator. Now you'll see four spots where you can load your images. You just want to go to the, going to want to go to the same exact folder where you put the four photos at 1080p. And again, under Project, Dead Space, and uh, Modio actually gives a label, the main image, uh, game library, multimedia, and system. I just choose four random ones based on what they look like and what I think they should be. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go down here to default and change that to whatever the heck you want it to be. Modio, the latest, or uh, excuse me, Southern Accent coming out. But the latest update gave you a lot more choices as far as customization with your themes. And that's probably a very good thing. Now the theme name actually does matter. You'll see in a while that, like right here, it doesn't matter what you type in. It's still going to show up. It's just mainly for you. But on the Xbox, what I had back there is actually what's going to show up on the Xbox. Just type in a random name, whatever you want it to be, whatever you want it to know. And your theme has been successfully created. Now, you're not done, obviously. Um, I'm going to pull up, for some reason or another, I had my mod punch buggy loaded. And I'll pause it and go back to the right content. I don't know why I had it open, but you cannot put it on a USB stick unless you already have themes off of your Xbox onto it. Now, there is a way to do that. I'll probably put it in the description. But as you can see, I pulled up the bus, which is my standard Xbox 360 hard drive. Now, yes, I am rolling with an older Xbox. I don't really like the new ones. I think that it's a big waste of money, personally, except for the 250 gig hard drive. But, unfortunately, you can't mod it. 
Anyways, you're going to want to go to that 000 folder, profile storage, and then skins. If you need to pause the video, feel free. Once you've got that open, you can go and close out of any folders that you've got up and ready, except for the final themes folder, which the put on Xbox and Dead Space 2 theme. Going to want to go ahead and make sure that it's up and pull back up Modio, open up your hard drive by usually double clicking on it. I don't know what the heck's going on here, but like I said, double click on that, bring it up, and simply click and drag. There's no need to rehash and resign because Xbox doesn't really care about this much as far as, you know, yeah. Uh, anyways, it will say, uh, if you click on it too much, it will say not responding, but in actuality, it's just trying to inject the file, and it will actually refresh your hard drive once you've done this. Now, it does take a rather long time just to input the simplest of files, because I did have it hooked up to an ex USB extension, and when you go back to the skins folder, it's right there. Um, and I'll be back on the Xbox in a little while to show you the final product. Okay, as you can see, I'm now on my Xbox 360. And this kind of proved to you that I'm definitely not BSing. This is all legit. Go straight up, and it just happens to be right there. I'm going to select it. Move on over. As you can see, it's already clearly in my background. I'm going to go to Game Library. There's the second one that I put in there. And then I'm going to go to a multimedia folder. There's a third one. Then I go all the way over to System Settings, and there it is. Uh, so yeah, basically this proves everything that I'm saying. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you'd like to know exactly how to do this, if I didn't cover anything in the video, feel free to leave me a message, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So, once again, this is Fighting Soldier, and I will have more modding tutorials out soon.